Welcome back everybody, the History Guy here, and this will be my last Ultimate Admiral uh, video for just a couple of days as I'm heading to Gettysburg this week. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and take on a custom mission, and I thought I'd take on a, a kind of a unique challenge for me this time. Rather than trying to take one battleship against a bunch of battleships or one ship against a bunch of others that are of inferior quality or... Um, of a much earlier time period, I thought I would even the odds a bit as far as the time period and the technology. So we're going to take one super German battleship and see if we can take out five French battleships. If that finds itself to be too easy, then maybe we'll take the things up a notch and maybe go to seven or eight battleships. But let's dive in. All right, so here we have $250 million dollars of state-of-the-art German technology. Now, it may not look real pretty, but I like it. Uh, so we've got the 18-inch guns super firing in the front and the rear. We've got a total of 12 of those 18-inch guns. Uh, we've also got nine 15-inches on each side for secondary use. Uh, not a lot of angle of fire for those, but I just thought it'd be great to add those. Also, for those of you who have cried out in the wilderness that I never put unnecessary secondaries on my battleships in a battleship duel. I have heard your cries, and I have answered. So I've thrown some 5-inch guns on here. They won't do a thing for this battle, but aesthetically, there you have it. We've thrown some of those on there. We've got a couple of super funnel mediums. I didn't go with the Pagoda Tower uh, just because it didn't look very German. I know it's never stopped me before. Uh, from building ships that don't necessarily match their national kind of styles and counterparts. But that's what it is. So we're calling it the Tirpitz. Uh We have the best of the engines. We've got the best of the rangefinders, the best of the radar, the best of the reloading and the turrets. Super heavy shells, high TNT explosives. 14 inches of belt armor, 10 inches of extended, 15 inches on the deck, 10 extended, 30 inches on the conning tower to protect those as much as possible, 15 on the turret face, 10 on the turret top. That got me pretty much maxed out on weight, and we're pretty balanced. So let's see what we can do. Let's go wreck some French battleships. All right, here we go. Smoke spotted to the north. I'm honestly surprised we haven't already spotted the battleships themselves. It might have something to do with the uh, visibility conditions at the moment. But we're going to go ahead and start slowly turning that direction. I'm going to switch to HE because I'm kind of curious to see what we can do with plunging fire HE shells from this distance. I have a feeling it could do pretty good. Let's see if we can turn this thing a little faster. All right, there we go. We want to keep somewhat of an angle here because I want to try and keep all of my turrets firing. They haven't even started turning yet because we haven't spotted the enemy. The smoke's in the way. There we go. Man. Thought for sure 30,000 meters I'd be able to spot this guy right away with the radar that I've got. There we go. We found him. Coming straight at us. One of them anyway. All right, we're at 24 kilometers, 11% chance. We're already target locked. Let's see how quickly we can start wrecking these guys. Looks like they got, I don't know, probably 17. Those might be 18s. But they've only got four up front. Oh, beautiful first hit. Not incredibly accurate just yet. Let's go ahead and slow down since he's coming at me. I've got a turn so I can get those side barrels firing. Oh, we just had one deflected. Get those side and rear turrets going. Right now we're just firing with the front. Oh, I guess we're getting those two firing as well, so that's not too bad actually. 
Ooh, there's a hit. We're still only at a 16% hit chance, but we're, we're closing the distance quickly. We're down to 20 kilometers. I don't want to get too close because with that many enemy ships, that becomes a problem for me. I want to pick them off at range. All right, now now he's opening up with everything he's got. And only 103 there. Yeah, those are 17 inches, 17 inch guns he's firing at me with. Wow, deflecting right off right now. Those might have been the 15s. There we go. Now we're talking. Got two hits with 11 inch shells for 800 plus damage. Don't switch targets, please. Let's stay on this one till it's finished. Of course, I might be at the place where I've got to switch to AP to finish it. And we switch targets. Of course, because that's what it does. Oh, that's so frustrating. When I'm taking on this many ships, I've got to finish off one so that there's that many fewer big guns firing at me. A couple of nice hits. Let's see what happens here. Ah, nothing. All right, let's get a couple of nice views of the turpets firing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to slow down to real time. Oh yeah, big hits, big hits. Beautiful. We got two almost dead now. Please don't switch targets yet. Oh, nice. Just going to make sure it doesn't switch targets. We're down to 14 kilometers. We're about as close as I want to get. I 
I still don't have the the max own cruise speed bonus. Let's drop to 18 knots and see if it goes up from 18 18.7 where it's at right now. And it looks like that's where it's going to stay. Oh, well, we're still going 19. Come on, let's get the kill shot on this thing. Lovely. How is it not dead? Yeah, the cruise speed bonus isn't going up any by dropping speed, so we'll stay at 20. I'm going to start turning away from this guy. I don't want to get any closer than this. All right, he's done. Yeah, let's start turning back this way. This is a little too close for comfort. Where's the one that's almost gone already? Way back there. Let's target that one first. Taking a lot of damage on my guns. We gotta keep turning, keep turning here. Mm. There's a big hit. We're down to down to half though. We're at fifty two percent. I gotta keep turning. We gotta start running away. I probably got in too close. Closer than I should have. Down to 42%. Alright, Leal is flooding quite a bit, but not enough. There we go. Okay. Where are we at? All right, we're, we're almost at the angle I want to be at now. Actually, we're probably good there. I don't think I can turn, can I? Looks like my rudder might be broken. How appropriate for a large German battleship to have that problem. All right, we got to take out the Gal Galois. And need to start landing some big hits and landing them fast before he takes me down too much. Yeah, that's a big hit.
Mm. Those were some rough hits there. I've got a 42.8 damage instability hit that I'm taking right now to my accuracy, which is certainly going to hurt as I try to take out these last three ships from a distance. I'm down to 32%. It's interesting to see how one battle to the next can be so different. I actually... I fought this battle last time with an almost identical ship. Um, I recorded earlier, at least I thought I recorded earlier for this battle, and it didn't record. And I sank all five French battleships, and I never dropped below 93% on my damage. And I actually had fewer guns than I have this time. Everything else was identical. The armor was identical. I only had two... 15s on each side instead of three everything else was exactly the same it's basically the exact same ship but this time i'm finding myself in a little bit of trouble i'm down to 32 percent so you just never know Of course, my accuracy is a huge concern now. I think these ships must have thicker armor than the ones I took on before. Because I was having no trouble getting major penetration damage with my AG shells. Now they've only got 12 inch armor. Let's see what these APs do. I might have to turn around and just get closer to him because my accuracy is really suffering because of the damage. I'm having a really hard time hitting him. I might have to charge and go Leroy Jenkins here. Come on. Let's get some hits. Yeah, I'm having a really hard time hitting them right now. There's a couple hits. Mm. Not sure I'm going to win this if, this time around. It's just amazing to me because I just dominated this battle the last time with almost identical ships. Accuracy is a killer, man, when you don't have it. I think he's got me. I'm down to 6%.
Boom. All right, we got one more. Come on, Turpits. Let's head towards these guys if I can. I don't even know if that's possible right now. Forget that guy. Hit this one. Finish him off. Okay, that's who we're going after. I'm at 18 kilometers. Only an 11% hit chance. There's a nice hit. Just need to maybe penetrate one more of his compartments and get enough flooding for it to sink. That might have been enough. Mm, I think he, I think he might stay afloat. Then it becomes a one-on-one -on -one duel with my severely damaged two hundred and fifty million dollar German battleship. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Yes. All right. I am at 4%. But now I'm taking on a ship that hasn't taken any damage, I don't think. Oh, the other one got away. Oh, you chicken. Come back and fight me. I can't move. There's nothing I can do. All right, I guess we're going to call that a battle. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really sorry I didn't get to show you the one where I actually won uh, because it actually went really well, and I found myself thinking I should have tried something harder. But that time, a whole different story. So use the comment section below. And, oh, wait. Is he spotted? Is he still coming at me? I don't think he is. Use that comment section below. Drop a like if you would. We'll be back in a few days with some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Thanks for watching.